I have just received an order from E3D and here you can see some of the parts that I have ordered. This will have the ex ex extruder's hot and not the extruder itself and some carbon fiber filament. This is the metal parts for the hot end in this box. You can't see it very well, but here is the heat sink and the heat break. It says V6 Universal Fixings there. Here are the parts that are electrical for 24 volts to work fine with my Black Widow as it's a 24 volt system. And here's a ex additional nozzle that I've got that's hardened steel so it will work better with carbon fiber. They have also sent me some parable which is nice. I've already eaten it before I'm recording this. Here's also the filament that I have ordered. It's the Color Fab XD CF20. It's 20% carbon fiber. I will experiment with this after the extruder is set up properly. I still haven't received the extruder itself, so that will have to wait for another video. Now I'm 3D printing new parts for the for replacing the belts and the idlers with toothed idlers and steel core belts. This is the time lapse that you're seeing, and I will mount these and show you them working in a bit. Here you can see all the parts for the new boot belts and the idlers. Here is the X tensioner, that's to tension the X belt. I've printed it, mounted it mostly. Here is the Y tensional tensioner. And here are the my new tooth idler so it will work better with the belt and not damage the belt hopefully and here is my new belt you're not going to be able to see it but I was trying to show you the, that it's steel core so it has steel in it instead of Kevlar or whatever else right now I'm 3d printing some prints to make comparisons after I change these to the new belts and idlers. I don't expect too big of a change but I still want to do some comparison and that's what I was working on. And here is them mounted. As you can see the belt is very tight the way it should be. And here it is on the x-axis. You can see the new printed part back there as well now I'm going to show you it working as you can see it moves as you can see the y-axis moves just fine as well You can see the comparison prints, as I expected, there isn't too much change, but you can see minor improvements, but I wasn't able to capture them on camera, since I'm just using a phone camera. In fact, I'm aware that these pictures are not really that well to compare, but I'm hoping that you will be able to see a few differences at least, like the less stringing and less lines on the prints, etc. Now I will work on printing a new 
support system for the, the extrusions on the side of the 3D printer. These also have Z stabilizers on them so it will work even better. And I will print these and mount these now. I have finally mounted these new supports, the prints took some time but they are finally done. I don't know if they will be any better with or without them, but I am hoping that they will be better in general. As you can see all four of them are there. So, I'm hoping you found this video as enjoyable, if you did please leave a like. I'm hoping to receive the extruder next week but I don't know for sure because it still hasn't shipped yet and the customs etc will take some time so I kinda doubt it as well, we'll see. Thanks for watching.